With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Welcome to doubtnet. We have a question. In a two-dimensional motion, instantaneous speed v naught is a positive constant. Then, which of the following are necessarily true? So, instantaneous speed is given that is v naught. And we have to verify all these four equations. First is saying that the average velocity is not zero at any time. So we know that velocity is a scalar quantity. Velocity is a scalar quantity. And we can compare only scalar quantity with a scalar quantity. We can't compare the vector quantity, vector quantity with a scalar quantity we cannot compare it because vector quantity have a particular direction but a scalar quantity doesn't have so first is saying that the average velocity is not zero at any time so what is average velocity average velocity is a vector quantity so average velocity is vector quantity is vector quantity that's why we cannot compare it with we cannot compare we cannot compare it with a speed and we have the knowledge of only a speed we have the information about a speed so if we can't compare it with average velocity we cannot say anything about this so first option will be incorrect now Option two, average acceleration must always be vanished. So average acceleration, what is average acceleration is also a average acceleration is also a vector quantity. So if average acceleration is also a vector quantity, then we also cannot compare it with speed. So this will also be incorrect. So these two options are incorrect. That is option 1 and option 2 are incorrect now we have third option displacement you can see displacement is uh, in equal time intervals are equal so what about displacement displacement is also a vector quantity and we cannot compare it with speed that's why this will also be incorrect now fourth option is saying that equal path length are traversed in equal interval so what is path length path length is nothing but it is the distance so path length is distance and we know that speed is equal to distance upon time or we can say that path length upon time so we have to find out the path length what about path length is equal to a speed into time so if we want to see the path length we have to see the time or we can say that a speed is costed that is v naught so the path length and time have a direct relation both are directly proportional so if any change delta x is here then we can say that if any change time delta t is here then both change should be equal that's why we can say that we can say that equal path length are traversed in equal interval means equal time have a equal distance because both are directly proportional as speed is constant so 4 will be correct thanks a lot for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today